So the Republicans and Democrats are finally starting to get down to the nitty gritty of negotiations and they're going nowhere. Hey Scott, the United States Senate has failed to advance a supplement to uh, state unemployment insurance. Senate Republicans had tried to get unanimous support for extending uh, those benefits at a $200 weekly level, which Senate Democrats led by Chuck Schumer uh, objected to. They in turn tried to pass uh, their version of the stimulus package called the HEROES Act, which House Democrats passed in May, and that is expected to fail as well, Scott. Uh, this comes as the White House Chief of Staff told reporters last night that they are nowhere near a deal on a future stimulus package. So I'm going to give you what this means exactly for economic stimulus and when you should expect to get your payment. I'm going to give you that date coming up next. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are a wealth and investment management firm located in Orlando, Florida with clients all across the United States. If this is your first time coming to my channel or seeing one of my videos, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so that you can get an update each time I post a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe so we're at the last day july 31st the last day of the month and we know what this means this means that unemployment insurance the additional 600 dollars has fallen off for several million people as of today and even as that is taking place and even as we're seeing an additional million plus people file for new unemployment insurance claims last week we still have an impasse in congress and there's more than likely not just an impasse in Congress, it's an impasse within um, the Republican Party itself. There is a lot of, um, I should say, back and forth going on right now, and they can, just cannot come to a deal. That's what it seems to be at this point. However, the biggest thing that's up for grabs right now is that an unemployment assurance. It ends today, and the last checks and payments are being made as of right now. And it looks like they're trying to tie everything into a large bill as opposed to splitting it up and providing assistance for those um, as of right now. The Republican plan falls dead dreadfully short. What we're saying for state and local around $900 billion is less than one half of what they were willing to put into their tax cut uh, for the wealthiest people in our country, 83% of the benefits going to the top 1%. So when they say they don't want to spend more money, it's like, what? What? We're talking about the health, we're talking about the lives, the livelihood, and the life of our democracy. They're all in disarray. You hear different Republicans say different things. And we can't negotiate on a vague concept. That's not how it's going to work. We need a specific bill. We told them as soon as they get us a specific bill, we'll read it and get back to them. When can they get us that bill? Who knows? The Republican Senate conference hasn't come to an agreement, and the President and the Senate conference hasn't come to an agreement. In addition to that, I want to provide you with an update about what some state governors are doing. And in the state of Florida, the governor has extended the moratorium on evictions for rent and mortgages through the end of August. So there is at least one more month extension that is provided. We know in the Hills Act, there was no um, option or, or nothing put forth to, to deal with the eviction moratoriums that were expiring as well. There is an onslaught of foreclosures and evictions that are expected in the next, um, starting, you know, August 1st, starting this upcoming month. And many states, many governors across the U.S. are starting to put those moratoriums in place for their particular state, their particular gov government. I would suggest that you reach out to your state website, state representatives, and see if this is the case for your local government. Although, um, the eviction moratoriums are in place. 
or could be in place in your area that still doesn't indemnify you from paying your mortgage or paying your rent. You still have to pay. They're just not going to come after you or they won't evict you as of right now. Lastly, I wanted to give you somewhat of a timeline as to when to expect um, the $1,200 economic stimulus payment to hit the mail or hit your bank account. So when the CARES Act was passed, it took about 14 days for the, the first round of payments, a little bit longer than that, but there were some weekends in there, for those payments to hit the mail and to hit those bank accounts when they did on April the 15th, the first round. So I would assume that if Congress can get through all their differences and are able to come to an agreement and have something passed and signed into law, possibly by the 10th of August, which means that they're going on recess on August the, the 7th. And that means they have to get something in place on August the 7th to get it to the president so that he can sign it You know, by that Monday, August the 10th. And if that's the case, then we'll be looking at approximately August the 14th before we receive the first payments, which is nearly a month from now. It's pretty, pretty far out in the future. Um, however, if they do not get anything settled and there's nothing agreed upon and they go to recess, they're not due to return until the 8th of September. Now that would mean if they were to come back and have something ready to go as soon as they got back, they got it passed in both the Senate and the House of Representatives and got that to the president, that would mean uh, possibly he would sign it into law maybe around the 10th, 11th, or 12th, somewhere around there. And then the payment would not be received until the end of September, more than likely sometime around the 28th or 30th in that time frame. So I wanted to provide you with that just to give you an understanding and to help you better prepare um, those of you that are really, really counting on this federal aid to get through this economic rough patch that we are in right now. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, please leave a comment below. Please like and share this video um, to help me increase the financial literacy of this globe. And lastly, before you leave my channel, please hit the subscribe button and please ring the bell so that you can get an update each time I post a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Have a great weekend and please stay safe.